Another thing that's very important in writing is stance and tone. Let's start with stance. When you know your own stance, and that means do you know where you're coming from with your paper? If you do this, you can help think about ways to get your readers to understand and maybe even share your views. This is why it's so important to have focus in your writing. Without focus, you don't know your stance. You don't know where you're coming from. And if you don't know where you're coming from, you can't expect your readers to know where you're coming from either. Tone is your overall attitude toward the topic. So you need to understand what is yours. Is it a tone of approval? Is it a tone of disapproval? Is it curiosity? Or is it indifference? You also need to understand what types of social, political, religious, or other factors come into account for your attitude. Tone also has some other more subtle nuances. You need to be aware of any preconceptions about your topic that might affect your tone or your stance. What this means is you may have some ideas from things that you've witnessed in your life or things that you've heard about that may give you a certain attitude about your topic. You need to understand that before you move forward and maybe even do a little more research to make sure that you've got your information correct. Your purpose, your audience, and your stance, where you're coming from, is going to help you understand the tone that your writing should take. Should it be humorous or would serious be better? Should it be impassioned or should it be helpful? Sometimes humor can help make a point, but other times humor can be mistaken as lack of urgency or lack of feeling toward your topic. So you need to be very careful with humor. If seriousness is a more correct way to go, if it's going to make your paper more effective, then you should avoid humor. And then lastly, I want to remind you, you need to think about ways to show that you're knowledgeable and trustworthy. This goes back to ethos, pathos, and logos. If, you, if your paper has ethos, you're going to set yourself up as an authority to your reader. They're going to trust you and, and agree that you have knowledge about your topic.